everybody. Welcome back. These are some people in the cancellation fast lane. <laughs> no, 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 no. This woman bought three economy seats <laughs> in order to create her own first class seat. <laughs> All right, so obviously that was acting, guys. I can tell when videos are acting. That was a dramatization based on real events. So yeah, this actually happened. Passenger kicked off a flight after turning her coach row of seats into a fort. <laughs> <laughs> Using plastic wrap. Wow, there's more than one person who's done this, eh? Look at that. <laughs> COVID was a fun time, eh? That was fun. But I think that she just wanted to make a fort. I don't know if it had anything to do with COVID. <laughs> hey, I, I like making forts as much as the next gal, but like, there's a time and a place. Man accused of stealing. You think I'm stealing? Got a cell phone. I got some money. Parking. I got some more money. That's it, bro. It just looks it's money here, bro. That's all. That's, that's all it is, bro. That's right. I didn't all right, know bring that. it up. Okay, so you didn't steal anything. Why did he think you were stealing? This is why we should never accuse people of stealing unless we have some solid proof. Otherwise, you're just kind of look a little racist. I'm not gonna lie. It's equally as embarrassing because. He's essentially accusing this guy of stealing. Like he's kind of looking down on him, but he has more cash in his pocket than this guy probably makes in a month. First day in my Airbnb. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> oh, my God. oh. Mm. Can we get a link, babe? Remind me never to go there. Can't even hang. A hanger. Some of these Airbnb owners be straight up criminals. Hosts be like, they're decorative hangers. How dare you try to use them? And then they're gonna charge you for breaking them. <laughs> Plus a cleanup fee for having to pick them up off the ground. First time taking a taxi. I think the driver is trying to touch me. I am so scared. Babe, I don't, I don't think he's trying to touch you. I think he's just trying to get his seatbelt. <laughs> you took his seatbelt. Give it back. How did you even do that, man? Like, do we not know how to human, how to take a ride in a taxi? So you're messing with this driver and you're posting about him wanting to like touch you inappropriately when that's not the case at all? Let's not, let's not do that, babe. This arrogant woman cuts her neighbor's roses without her consent. She does this without a second thought for basic property rights, as if she were in her own yard. No. What advice can you give to the person who has lost their beautiful blooms? Uh, je téléphone à la police. <laughs> je téléphone le FBI, le CIA. She was so happy about stealing those roses too. Like not a care in the world. She woke up that day and she was just like, mm, I need some fresh roses. I'm not gonna go to the store though. I'm just gonna go on my neighbor's property and steal them from her. She won't mind. Wanna buy my bacon, egg and cheese? I'm okay, thank you. You were talking to the cat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you say, you say no, 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 I'm talking to you, babe. Well, it's not like she wanted it. It would have been different if she wanted some and you weren't talking to her. Jail, immediately. I'm gonna come over and perform a citizen's arrest. POV, you found out the Thunder 4s were sold out. What's that, is that a shoe? Oh, he's chasing you, guys. Oh What the oh hell is a Thunder 4? <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god. Jesus Christ, have mercy. Sorry for uh Huh? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Call it, call it. Sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to, sorry. <laughs> I need to know what has caused all of this commotion. Oh yeah, their shoes. Their shoes. These shoes. These ones really? They're alright. I mean, they're not really worthy of that reaction. 
The way you reacted, you would have thought, you know, like somebody died, your life was over. But no, you just wanted some really yellow shoes, like bumblebee shoes. You just wanted some bumblebees on your feet. Your feetsies. That's what all the hullabaloo was about. POV, your friend gets yanked out of your stall because this lady who doesn't even work there said one person per stall. How? You're yanked, like, eh? Oh, You're yanking her? <laughs> Whoa. Necessary? Come on, everybody knows girls pee together. Like, listen, we don't yank, all right? We don't, we don't. Zero yanking, none whatsoever. There is never a reason to yank. Especially not this reason. Honestly, two people who know each other in a stall together is a favor to everyone else waiting. Like, it's just gonna be faster this way. Why do they always do this? Like, who made you the bathroom police? <laughs> it's really, really serious, apparently. It's never that serious, all right? It's not. Red flags and gym girls. Okay, what's your name? Mike. Red flags and gym girls. Oh, it's totally the pouch hiders, man. The ones that wear it up here, hide the pouch. Oh my oh. god. The pouch. Oh, it's deceptive. Yeah, but that's the same thing as wearing hats. Oh! Oh my god. Period. That's what's up, dude. The pouch? Oh, you know, like where our uteri, uteri are? <laughs> you mean this thing? This thing? Oh yeah, that's our internal organs. Okay. Oh my gosh. The way he just said that and was not embarrassed. Not your audience, dude. Not your audience. All right, I had a lot of people that wanted me to cover Tattoo Gate. Hey, so I'm not sure how many of you are on Tattoo Gate TikTok right now, but there is so much tea going on. And I'm just gonna give you a TLDR of everything that's happening. Now, if you want the full story, I would encourage you to go and watch the three parts on her page first, and then go and watch the three parts on her page as well. Basically, the first lady goes to the tattoo artist and she's like, oh my God, I love your work. I'm gonna get tattooed by you. Now the artist sets up a consult, charges her a consult fee of $180. And the client sends her these two foxes with full body and flowers. And the artist is like, well, I also have a design fee and it comes in three packages. The first one is $1,500. You get one design and one minor change. The second one is $3,500. You get two designs and two changes. The third one is $6,000 and you get as much change review as you want. None of that money goes to the total cost of your tattoo. What? So the client chooses the first package because she's in her great references. So she pays her $180 for the consult, $1,500 for the first package, and $1,000 for a deposit. This is the sketch that the artist sends her. Clients like, this is not what I asked for. Like, this isn't a full body fox. This is nothing like the references. The artist says, well, if you want to make a major change, you're either going to have to Stop. upgrade to the second package or you're going to have to pay the difference between the first and the second package for me to redesign it. They go back and forth for a while and ultimately the artist decides you're just being so rude and I've tried to accommodate you, but at this point, I'm just not going to tattoo you at all. What? The client says, okay, can I at least get my $1,000 back since I'm not going to be getting the tattoo? You can keep the consult fee and the design fee. The artist refuses to give her the $1,000 deposit for a tattoo she's not getting. Whoa. This brings us to her, who basically has a similar story and a similar setup as the first woman. The only difference is she actually got tattooed. Now, this lady asked for an upper arm shoulder tattoo that also came onto her collarbones and covered some birds that she had there. She also had a $180 consult. It was on the phone. The artist says, sure, I can ask absolutely cover the birds for you. Quotes are $1,700 uh, plus the design fee, I'm sure. And then says, I need half of the $1,700 for a deposit on the final tattoo. So she sends her $180 plus $850 for a deposit. Before the appointment, the artist ends up saying, actually, I can't cover the birds. And the client's like, but you already said you could and you already took my money. So she's like, well, if you want to change the design, no! then I'm going to have to charge you for it. And you're going to have to upgrade to the second package. The client's like, but you're the one changing the tattoo. <laughs> Client ultimately ends up going to get this tattoo at 9 a.m. The woman doesn't start tattooing until 1 p.m. and only tattoos for literally two hours. And then says that she had to pay 1900 because she also has a daily rate. And the client's Whoa. like, no, you quoted me 1700 And she's like, I never said that. And because it's a phone call, <gasps> there's no receipts. No. She pays the 1900 because the artist threatens to call the police. She decides to just finish with the tattoo because she's already paid this woman $3,000, but she's not going to pay for the last session. She goes, gets tattooed for four hours, and she's like, I'm not going to pay. I've already paid you enough. Lady calls the police and takes her driver's license and puts it on social media on her Instagram story and basically says this one's a scammer. She didn't pay, doesn't tell the full story. Police officer gets in touch with the client and is like, what happened? The client explains the full story. The officer is like, well, technically what she's doing isn't illegal, but we have had a lot of complaints about Whoa. her. Basically, client had to pay the $1,000, paid $4,000 for this tattoo I'm about to show you. Really be so for a Oh my life. gosh. I'm awful people getting their worth, but this is a scam. And I hope that both of these women get their full money back. Or let alone at least the deposit. Holy cannoli! We all know that I'm someone that says charge what you're worth, alright? 
don't take advantage of artists. But like artists, don't take advantage of like honest paying customers who are coming to you and hiring you to do work for them. Like, be fair. Everybody must be fair. Also, all correspondence when dealing with like large sums of money like this has to be done through email. If you're on a phone call, you have to follow up the phone call with an email with everything that was discussed. Okay? We'll save you a lot of trouble in the future. This is from <laughs> my own personal experience. Yeah, something tells me she's not gonna be doing many tattoos anytime soon. FaceTiming my wife at Hooters gone wrong. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi, babe. Hey, guess what I brought Jaden for his award ceremony? Where? He brought me to Hooters. Babe, I brought him to Hooters. I just wanted to say congratulations on your son's award. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys are dead when I get home. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with her. Nothing good happens at Hooters! Except the wings. The wings are really good. Don't ask me how I know that, okay? I like I like the wings. I'm a wing gal. Those are some people in the cancellation fast lane. Going about 200 miles per hour. Beep beep bitch. Subscribe!